Would it be possible to get a piece of sheet metal shaving sharp? Today we're going to find out. So welcome back to the shop friends. This challenge was thrown out there by some of you guys in the comments. We were talking yesterday about doing a sharpening video, trying to sharpen something that maybe shouldn't be able to, you shouldn't be able to get shaving sharp. And the, the suggestion of a piece of sheet metal came up. I was thinking of all different things. I thought, should we try sharpening a ruler? Or I'd even grabbed a sawzall blade. Like, could we make a knife out of a sawzall blade? And I thought, well, let's just go with sheet metal. That's something that I think everyone can relate to. And if we can get this thing with the Russian knife sharpener uh, that uh, sharp enough to shave with, Man, that's really do, just doing something. And of course, we'll be using the Russian knife sharpener. Now, I've done, we've done things in the past similar to this. You know, we, of course, we did a, we got a shaving sharp butter knife. Mrs. W wasn't too keen on that when I uh, brought it into the house. <laughs> It was actually a bit of a hazard. Uh, you don't want a butter knife shaving sharp uh, mixed in with the other ones because no one's expecting it to happen. So by harnessing the power of the electron microscope, we can see indeed that there is no edge on here. It's simply just a piece of sheet metal. I don't know how thick it is. Probably, what, maybe less than a 16th, 30 seconds. It's not very thick, it's, but it's probably about very similar uh, to what we'd have for knife steel. But it is indeed perfectly flat. Here we go. All right, so we'll start with the coarse stone. And we'll set our angle here. So I'm thinking we'll just go, we'll just go with 20 degrees here. We'll dial this in perfectly with our Tesprof angle cube. And I like anything, I like the word cube. Anything, that's, <laughs> anything that cu it says cube is usually kind of cool. All right, so let's go for 20, which I let down there. Very sensitive, this thing. All right, oh, too far. Each looks like each click is about a point. There we go, 20. Now we're ready. Okay, we got the core stone. So I'm, I'm gonna just use a little, uh, just a little water here. It's just simple green. Soap doesn't matter, water works fine. It seems to, seems to, to work a little bit better. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll kind of keep track of these. It's, uh, there's a little bit of, it's gonna take a little while to get that initial edge on there. So rather than counting the strokes, I'm just going to be consistent here and watch the time. So I'll just do it for 60 seconds on each side. So that's about 60 seconds on that side. We'll flip it over and we'll do the same thing. Definitely the, the liquid seems, seems to help. That's it for the uh, coarse grit. Uh, about 10 minutes involved with that. So let's bring you up close. Let's take a look and see what type of an edge we got. That is a beautiful looking edge. Look how uh, symmetrical and even it is. When I cut this out with a bandsaw, you know, I just freehanded it, just eyeballed it. It was actually, it was pretty bad, but the, the sharpener brought everything into alignment and made that, that radius nice there. But doesn't that look great? That really... <laughs> It's pretty incredible. All right, let's flip over to the next stone and start putting the polish on it. You can really feel the difference between the, that coarse stone and the next one. It's much smoother than the, the other one. You really start to see the polish. So let's hit, once we have that, we've got that edge established on there, um, the rest of this here will go pretty quick. It's just a matter of just polishing it out. The stone really does take the water. When you first put it on, it actually takes a while for it to saturate. Here you can see that's the second stone of five right there. We're starting to get the, the lines out of it and certainly much, much, starting to feel really sharp, and but definitely much smoother. Okay, middle stone. I've been about uh, 25 times per side or so. I like the way that water goes in there. It's kind of cool the way that, look at the, how the, the, the uh, soapy water just goes into the stone, it disappears. I mean, it's kind of like a, I don't know what type of stone this is. It's almost like, it's like a Japanese water stone. All right, let's take a look at the second to the last and see how the polish is there. Not too bad for a piece of sheet metal. 
<laughs> you can st st starting to see, can't quite see a reflection in it yet, but I can definitely see a little, a little glimmer off of it. And man, that is sharp. That is a perfect edge at 20 degrees. It's such an enjoyable process, this. I think these type, these simple, the kind of these simple monotonous jobs, I would say that they're monotonous, I think that's the wrong word, are, are, are so wonderful to have in your life because of how complicated life is and how much, um, how much of those, you know, we've got so much going on and so much responsibility and our work can be very complicated. To be able to come home and to, to find something that you can do uh, that you can just focus all your attention on um, and block out all of the other stress of life, you know, whether there's lots of different things, you know, like reloading or traditional woodworking where the time just goes by, you're working in your shop and you don't even know that you've been in there for five hours. Um, it's good for the soul. It's just, uh, uh, to me, it's a, it's a, a refuge from all of the things that, or screaming for our attention. The funny thing, uh, I think it was C.S. Lewis who talked about one of the most difficult things for, uh, I struggle with it, uh, and I think a lot of people do, is um, waking up in the morning, and uh, we all know, you know, those of us that are people of faith know that you know, it's the best time to spend time, you know, studying, spending time with God. It's so funny that you can go to bed with the best of intentions that, oh, I'm going gonna, gonna to get up and I'm going to take a, even if it's 15 minutes, you know, it's better than nothing. Some people take more. I, it's nice if you have, you can take an hour. Um, I'm going to connect, you know, I'm going to spend time with God and, and uh, the best part of the day. And man, as soon as you wake up, uh, C.S. Lewis, I think that's how he put it, was the, the roar, these roaring lions of obligation and responsibility, I'm paraphrasing here or come at you, or these responsibilities come at you like a roaring lion. Your mind starts working, and every excuse, oh, you know, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for some quiet time for myself, or some prayer time, or meditation, whatever you do. Um, I've got to get to work, and I've got to get on that, answer those emails and all of that. It's, uh, it's amazing um, how powerful that draw is. And it makes, you know, to me, that that is a testimony of the of the truth of God is that there's something out there that really wants you not to spend time with him, that really wants you to go in and to chase all these other things, these other phantoms. Um, and so that it, it's almost like it's scared of you making that connection because no, nothing, it, it, there's, there's no other way you could explain it. It's a, it is a crazy, crazy thing. So here's the edge after that, that final, you see a little bit of gleam off there, that the finest stone right there. Now, what I've been amazed with is how nice of a polish, how much further it takes it going with the leather. Here's the, the leather bit here and the jeweler's rouge. Let's do that next and then see, we should be able to get almost a mirror polish. Or I have been on knives. I don't know about sheet metal. So I messed up my leather here. When I, the first knife that I sharpened, I, I, I was kind of had that muscle memory and I was, uh, I pushed it. A couple times and the knife was so sharp that it cut it off there but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything so I've got these two compounds I got a gray one and a white one I don't know which one which one is finer um, I the white one kind of feels finer but this is a super fine it's almost like a it's like a toothpaste you know toothpaste has got what has it got pumice or something in it some abrasive that's more than enough right there an abrasive in it that polishes and this is this does the same thing there on the leather but we only pull it so let's put that in and what, see what type of polish we can get. The leather is the the leather is the key, for sure. But we only pull, pull here. You should be able to start to see that that polishing a little bit. It's a, uh, it's not as mirror like as I have had in the past, with the uh, with some of the nut like the the nicer kitchen knives, the Hinkles and and cut codes and stuff, but the, oops, oh, I went the wrong way again. Good grief, the old habits there. Okay, friends, I think we're ready for the shave test. That is beautiful. It doesn't have a luster on it. It has a nice luster. It doesn't have a mirror polish like uh, the tool or the blade steel does, but it does look really beautiful, and it seems, 
it seems sharp. That's steep. You know, that's a that was a pretty thick chunk of sheet metal right there. Here we go. There you can see. Isn't that nice? So you can see the light kind of reflecting off of there. Maybe reflecting is the right word. But a lot of those grains, the, the, the grain marks have come out that we had. Now, I could spend another 10 minutes or so on it. You could even get it even brighter than that. But that looks pretty good right there. I apologize for the mess in the shop. There's so much clutter in here. I don't like to have my shop this way. But we're just finishing up the woodworking and stuff inside the house. And I'm doing a lot of the, the excuse me, water locks. I'll put the water locks on the the last bits of woodwork and the stair treads and stuff. So I've got everything in here because I don't want all the fumes in there uh, for the family to have to deal with. That is sharp. Oh, yeah. All right, friends, let's see how it does. This is the best that I can do. Uh, what, I, what I noticed on it without I was polishing it, I was looking at it really closely with the loop, the high magnification. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's the structure of it. I don't, I'm not a metallurgist, but it seems that... Uh, that that point wants to do this that when I really get down to the fine stuff that it doesn't have when it's it's gotten so thin at the tip that it doesn't uh, want to it doesn't have enough hardness uh, to hold um, I don't know it just I mean just feeling it it feels really sharp but it I just noticed that that it it seemed to be chasing it back and forth but here's a piece of butcher paper uh, and we'll see here we'll just do a a push cut. It's not, it's not, not bad. Oh, Mrs. W is calling. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. You guys are important, but Mrs. W is even more important. So let's, uh, it's, um, it's not great. It doesn't feel, I mean, it, it is sharp. There's no question, but it's not, for example, my pocket knife, right? That I did the same thing to. And it is, um, look at the difference. I mean, I did exactly, actually I spent less time on the pocket knife, and this is just a cheap Norwegian knife, or a, a New Zealand knife. And that is sharp, sharp, sharp. Um, so it's got to do, have to do, has to do, or something, it's got to do with the steel. It's got to be, because I did, I spent a lot of time on it, and I really did a polish on it, and it doesn't seem as good. Let's, let's see if it'll shave. We'll bring it closer on my arm if I have any hair left. All right, let's try the old arm shaving trick there. I've been sharpening Mrs. W's knives there, so I don't have much arm hair left there. No focus. Sometimes I wish I had a cameraman. Okay, so let's see here. If we can shave with a piece of sheet metal, that's... So what are we seeing there? It doesn't feel sharp. I mean, there's a couple little arm hairs on there, but I, the answer is... Is would I consider it to be shaving sharp? No, no, I would not. Like when we contrast that with, let's get a pocket knife out here. The this knife here, which isn't you know got a knife steel. Oh, I can feel. Look at that. I could uh, shave my whole arm there with that. That is hair popping sharp. Same process. Everything the same, uh, but. Uh, Focus there, focus. Uh, but the difference must be in the steel. That's the only thing that I can think of because it's it's duplicated. It's got the same. I can look at this one here, the Svord, and it's got, it's just a mirror polish on there. And this one here where I spent probably twice as much time on it, it doesn't look as nice. It just, that's got to be something to do with it. All right, so what is our conclusion? What did we learn here? Well, I went back after that last shot and I, and I hit it again. I even boosted the angle up. I did kind of a little micro bevel on it. It was really careful. Stropped it on the leather. Even went over and re-stropped it on the Jeweler's Rouge to, just to give it every single advantage. And um, it, I just can't get it to the level if, as I can a knife steel, which is very interesting. I almost wished I would have done it on a higher quality steel like a, a Sawzall blade. Uh, to see if there would be a difference. I, I'd be very curious to see, but with everything, and, and again, you know, maybe maybe I might be doing something wrong, and there, there's maybe people out there that can do it, uh, but I tried everything, and it, it is, it's sharp. It's, there's no question it's sharp, but it's not, it's not like, not like this, um, and the same process and all that, so as you can see. 
that uh, very interesting. Interesting, interesting. So if you know why that is, why we can't get a piece of sheet metal as sharp as a piece of knife, uh, of knife steel, I would be very interested to know because I, um, I'm, I'm at a complete loss here. But an interesting experiment nonetheless. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.